And you have the defending Lucas Oil champion in this race again. Can you imagine if Norris or Shelton Brand or Chubb win? Oh, my. <laughs> no. Once again, going to be Michael Norris and Devin Moran starting on the front row of this one. Row two, the 71 of Hudson O'Neill, the 49 of Jonathan Davenport. Ricky Thorne Jr. looking for his 11th series win of the year. Out of Martinsville, Indiana, and Ken Shelton Brand, former track champion, out of Sarver, starts alongside. Then Chubb Zilla came close last time. The runner finish looking again for his first Lucas Oil win since 2006 at Hagerstown, Maryland, and Mikey Marler, the 157 for Skylight Motorsports alongside. Spencer Hughes out of Causeyville, Mississippi in the 19M, and Levi Yetter in the 9. Row 6 will be Colton Flinner, a former track champ, and another former track champ, John Garvin, in the Joe Corrado 10. Logan Zarin, a regular here, the 1Z out of Hookstown, PA, and Max Blair last year's O'Reilly Auto Parts rookie here in the 111, and it's Carson Ferguson in the Paler Motorsports 93 out of North Carolina, and Boom Briggs, the 99 be in a Bear Lake, Pennsylvania. That's row eight, row nine will be Brendan Smith, the Date City, Florida driver, the 17 double S and the 5L of John Lee's out of Somerville, PA. Row 10, Dan Angelicchio in the 14 of the 1C of Alex Faree. Then your final two rows, it'll be Bam Bam, Brock Pinkeris. And his Lucas Oil debut this week, he's 14 years old out of Ellenville, New York, and Michael Doritsky Jr. in his first full season in a super late model, the Mason Town PA. Your final two starters, Denny Fenton out of Clearfield, Pennsylvania, the 56, and Kyle Lucon in car number 184 out of Burgettstown, Pennsylvania. Lucon back after that fuel line oh, issue man. last night that saw that car catch on fire. I talked to him in the pit area, and he... Yeah, I, I cannot give the exact phrase he used, but I, I will I will paraphrase and Luke Hahn said I was just happy I was able to squeeze my fat regret out of that race car is what he told me. <laughs> and, and I might be uh, might be uh, may not be using the exact language that he used, but uh, good to see uh, good to see him back with us and uh, he's going to start shotgun in this 25 lap main event. Well, these drivers had a curveball. I think we all had a curveball thrown at us here as they rework this racetrack for the second and final 25 lapper here tonight. And we are going to see whose hand this plays into. You may even see someone Could, come yeah. from uh, the middle of the pack in this one. Could have an emotional win again. Of course, you, you've known the Troutman family a long, long time. His grandfather, Dave Troutman, a, lo a regular a star series, DJ yeah. Troutman passed away as we mentioned about four years ago and you got to call his first career win in a late model right super yeah. late model at tyler county yeah and now you get his first lucas oil win yeah it was fun awesome. man yeah the troutman's awesome, brother. been uh, been good friends it's hard not to uh it's, it's hard to uh, put your emotions aside and and you know we always say we don't play favorites and that's the truth we don't but uh you know, a, a big hat tip to Drake Troutman is something that is, as he said, he's taking slumps up and down the road. And he said, I bet you it's a bunch of kids out there yep. going up and down the road and then they're trying to keep racing fun and they're working their tails off while they do it as well. And we got a chance to see another first time winner here in this second feature as Michael Norris starts on the pole. Kenny Schultenbrand starting sixth. Several other drivers that have never won a Lucas Oil late model dirt series feature scattered throughout the field in this one. They're going to get take the green flag this time in the new Drain Ag Solution starting zone. Norris on the pole, Moran on the outside. Hudson O'Neill and Jonathan Davenport in row two. Ricky Thornton Jr. and Kenny Shelton Brand in row three. 25 laps, $5,000 for the winner. Norris in turn number one. The reigning three-time track champion, current points leader, leads him off at turn number two. And we make it cleanly off at turn number two. Can we get a good lap in? Moran second, Davenport third, and Sarver's own Michael Norris. So lead lap one here tonight. Moran second, Jonathan Davenport third. That's how they run it in the lap number one. Right now, Norris making hay on the high side of the speedway. Eight times he started the Firecracker 100 best finish came uh, just a uh, couple years ago when he finished fifth in 2020. He has six top tens and eight starts in the, in the Firecracker 100. Right now, six to Shelton Brandon, Marler, Levi Yetter, Chubb, Frank Spencer, use your top ten. Norris continues to show the way over Devin Moran and Jonathan Davenport. Last time it was six tenths of a second. This time it's one second. The lead has grown for Michael Norris. Yeah, they're setting a pretty good speed out there as Alex Marie nearly lost the tail end of his car near the tail of the field. They're setting a pretty good speed out there which has given a pretty decent little gap between these first five or six drivers. 
the bad news is they're going to catch the tail end of the field very quickly in this second uh, 25 lapper is now the uh, Mike Norris your race leader just as he heads onto the straightaway the back of the field is about to head into the corner yeah, and about the top six how many have more laps than Norris or Shelton brand here we got to almost got sideways in turn two Lucon gets it straightened back out we stay green and Norris meanwhile slipped up in turn number two and Devin Moran's taking the lead Dustin Devin Moran going to move the double down Motorsports 99 to the point at least for the time being Norris going to get shuffled back to the second spot this time by it becomes official at the strike your leader on lap number six Devin Moran then Norris then Davenport and oh no Norris goes off of turn number one and the caution flag is out Guys, I gotta believe something was going awry in the steering of that race car because it did not turn at all when he got to the end of the front straightaway, but he's able to get the wheels back going. Something just not right in the front of that race car. It comes back on, but he lost it the lap before, yielded the lead, he had led the first five laps. It and makes Moran you got about a new spin. Guys, it makes you wonder if it's something in the steering or if maybe the throttle is sticking on that 72 car. Well, I think we've got a replay of it from our Map that TV was, on Flow Race, and we'll it, get that to quickly together. But the caution, the Dave Warren Power Sports caution for Michael Norris. And, and here's a, the replay for those here at the track at that home, was a DJ. a wild yeah. ride that he took there off the top of turn number one as well. So you're going to see right there, he, he slips up, okay? He slips up. He just looked like he got a little too high there maybe is what happened. He slipped up, as you mentioned, and allows Devin Moran to get by. And here, he's going to drive back down under Devin Moran and watch at the end of the straightaway right here. Oh, I mean, that car just wow. went, it just went straight. I mean, it, it I don't know. I it, it did not even appear to turn at the end of the straightaway. He is, if he would have uh, turned that, he would have flipped because he would have been right there on top yeah. of that. That is, man. Be interesting well, to hear from there's Michael a wall, but happened. it's way up there. That man, well, what so, a bizarre turn of events! Six laps into this one, so Norris to the back. So Moran will now be out in front. Davenport will be second. Then Thornton, O'Neill, Marler, Shelton Brand, Levi Yetter, Chubb, Frank, Spencer, Hughes, and Max Blair will now be your top 10 on the Delaware double file restart. Norris is he's. He's still uncertain, maybe. I'm not sure he's trying. I would be, too. <laughs> I would be, too. I mean, you know, that, that happens at the end of the back straight I'd be away. making a pit stop and trying yeah. to. I mean, he is, he, he is, I mean, very candidly, very lucky that, that that car shot straight at the end of the front stretch, not the end of the back stretch. Yeah. Six down, 19 to go in your final feature of the night. And Devin Moran brings it back to the Nutrient X Solution restart zone. Moran will lead him in the one, the Roger Sellers Double Down Motorsports car. Here comes Thornton, Ricky Thornton Jr. looking for his 11th win of the year in the Lucas Oil 8 Model Dirt Series down the back straightaway. Here comes the Red Horn, the Red Horn. Move over, Blue Horn. Here comes Marler to the outside. He'll take third. Move over, Red Buck Cigars. <laughs> it's the Red Horn. <laughs> Mike Marler, he's up into the third spot. Look at this, Lucas Oil 8 Model Dirt Series regulars occupying the top five spots right now. Moran, Thornton. Marler, Davenport, and Hudson O'Neill. Shelton Brand trying to get that inside roll, and he's in six in the 29. And Chubb Frank up to seven. How about Shelton Brand? The veteran driver right there running against the best in the business in this race down the back straightaway. Moran, heartbreak last night, running in the second spot, shredded a right rear tire, but right now leads with nine in the books. Ricky Thornton Jr. is second. It'll be a while yet. They're about a half a half a lap ahead, behind, yeah, ahead of the rear end of the field, the tail end of the field. Did that sound right? It, I think. Or maybe I'm talking not sure. about close <laughs> enough. I, under, I understood. Just just water. It was just it was just Kool Aid that he had up here earlier. It huggy. was a huggy. Ten down, fifteen to go. Devin Moran's lead has expanded to 1.3 seconds over Ricky Thornton Jr. Mike Marler quietly closing in on the 20 RT. He was able to gain two tenths of a second on him last time. And just as we say that, Thornton puts two tenths back on the 157 of Marler. Davenport to the top. Marler right now in third. Again, Davenport fourth. O'Neill, Shelton, Brand, Chubb, Spencer Hughes, Max Blair, John Garvin, 10th in car 10. We have got 12 in the books. It is Devin Moran. Norris led the first five laps until Moran got around him. After Norris stumbled in two, Norris brought out the only caution a lap later. 
But right now, they're on the same straightaway, the tail end of the field. Moran off a of turn four. Cross flag shown to the field, 13 laps in the books this time by at the scoring loop. 12 laps remaining to Devin Moran. That lead has swollen to 1.7 seconds, and you're right. He is quickly closing in on the back of the field. Brock Pinkeris. Uh, no, excuse me, uh, John Lee will be one of the first drivers to go one lap down in the 5L. Kyle Lucon, Brendan Smith, Dan Angelicchio, they're all right there, and now they're all right there in front of your race leader, Devin Moran. Remember, it's combined points from the last two nights. Moran had a DNF here last night. He goes to the bottom. He loses momentum, and here comes Thornton, and here comes Marler. We're going to have a three-way battle, three -way battle for lead in a turn number one with 15 down, 10 to go, and Thornton is there out of two, Dustin. Yeah, Devin Moran was not able to work by John Lee that last time down in turns three and four. He's going to have to try to gather his momentum back up, and just as you said, that's allowed both Ricky Thornton Jr. in to close up the gap, and John Lee puts it in the wall right in front of the leaders coming off turn number four, and that will bring out a Dave Warren power sports caution. Go to DaveWarrenSegway.com. Be sure to register for that new T10 side-by-side. Again, it's on display here at Lernerville Speedway. $14,000 value. Man, that was close again for your leader. So 15 in the books, our second Dave Warren Power Sports Caution of the race. Yeah, 10 laps remain in this one. And Devin Moran probably thankful to see that caution flag as he has he, 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 played again. He had closed in on the tail end of the field and was trying to find a way around those drivers. Nice stand corrected. It was not John Lee, Kyle Lucon, the driver that made contact with the barriers there just up off of turn number four. John Lee, he is still at the tail end of the field. So Luke on Lady Luck has dealt him a bad hand two nights in a row. As you see the damage there to that rocket chassis as the Burgesstown, Pennsylvania driver slipped up off the top of turn number four. Oh, a flow racing instant replay coming up here to see exactly what happened to bring out this latest Dave Warren Power Sports caution. It's right in front of your leaders here, James. Yeah, he's behind Lee there, and then Lucon right there just yeah. hooked the berm hard into the wall. And Kyle is okay, there. but yeah, he just hooked the berm. It was uh, barrels full of 55 gallon jugs full of water there. Yeah. It would look like uh, the splash zone at SeaWorld if you were sitting in the first few rows. Very true. So Devin Moran out in front took the lead again when Norris got a little uh, out of shape there in turn number two. And he's led ever since. Thornton and Marler. Davenport, O'Neill, Schultenbrand, shout out to him. Chubb is seventh. Max Blair is eighth. Hughes, Garvin, tenth. And then Carson Ferguson and Colton Flinner. Yeah, Logan's there in 13th. Norris has worked his way back up to 14th. Levi Yetter has dropped back to 15th. Michael Duritsky, 16th. Brock Pinkris is 17th. Boom Briggs was 18th, and I believe I see him in the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit area. Then it's Dan Angelico in 19th. Uh, Brendan Smith, 20th, and John Lee will be 21st when we go back to Green Flag Racing. And there was a look at Boom's car in the hot pit, and they're going to get the 184 of Lucon towed off the racetrack. And don't forget the Wyatt Turner Band playing here upon the conclusion of this race in that new uh, fan area just off the back straightaway back there towards turn three. Also, don't forget here tomorrow... The all-driver autograph session at 5.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m. for that all-driver autograph session. That goes to 6.15. And hot laps once again tomorrow night start at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Pre-race pre -race show here for those of you watching at home on MAV TV on Flow Racing. We'll go live once again at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's 5.30 Central. And, James, you can do the math from there. There you go. Good weather day. Tickets still available. Down the back straightaway, Devin Moran. I tell you, just get a feeling the 157 may have something here for these top twos. They'll go Delaware double file. Ten to go. Moran, Thornton, Marler at the Nutrient Act Solutions restart zone. Back underway at Lernerville. Side by side off in the turns. One and two, three wide momentarily as Ricky Thornton Jr. gets shuffled out of line and up the racetrack. That allows Jonathan Davenport to slip by. Oh, and man. now the 157th to second. Here comes RTJ back down to the inside of the 49. He'll take the third spot back. Moran leads. It's now the Red Horn in second. As you would say, they're putting on a show in the one. Devin Moran, nine to go for 99. Marler about four car lengths back. 
Thorn gets back to third. Here comes O'Neill on the bottom of Davenport. Hudson O'Neill coming on strong here. Up to fourth in 71. The defending series champion, Shelton Brand, doing a great job. Kenny running in sixth. Yeah, Ken Shelton Brand continues to hold his own against the best in the business. But Devin Moran right now looking really good out front in that Roger Sellers own number 99. Eight tenths of a second last time by. This time by, James was seven laps to go. That lead has grown to 1.3. What about this battle back here, 71 and 49? I bet you tomorrow night we may have to triple box this baby because they are putting on a show again here as O'Neill will clear Davenport but right now Marler losing contact with Moran he stumbled a little bit on the cushion that's all it takes is one little stumble there six laps to go 99 in the two here comes Thornton Ricky Thornton Jr. About a straightaway now behind Moran. Devin looking good off a of turn four with five to go. Yeah, Devin Moran is pretty consistently put anywhere from two to three tenths between himself and Mike Marler. The last couple laps, he'll add another two tenths to it that time by five to go. And Moran's lead is now up to 1.8 seconds over Marler, Thornton, O'Neill, and Davenport. He's quickly closing into the back of the field. I don't know that he's going to catch the back of the field in time, though, James. Just four to go in this one. In the turn number one, out of two, Devin Moran, healthy lead, battle for third continues. O'Neill trying to get around Thornton. And Devin Moran needs a good finish here tonight to set him up for a good heat race starting spot here tomorrow night. In the turn one. Yeah, he had that trouble last night, James, as you mentioned. So a win here tonight would certainly elevate his starting position in one of those six heat races coming up here tomorrow. And this time he's coming around to two laps to go in your final feature of the night. See how far he stays back from the tail end of the field. They're exiting turn number two. He's got a healthy lead and he's got some distance between himself and the final car in the lead lap down the back straight away as we will head to the Barrett's performance. One lap to go for the Dresden, Ohio driver. He comes off corner number four, white flags out. Final time around for Dresden, Ohio's Devin Moran holding steady at about a 1.92 second advantage over the 157 of Mike Marler. He's not going to catch the tail end of the field. He's not going to need to as they go through turns three and four for the final time. Checkered flag is out. The winner of your second feature tonight at Lernerville is going to be Devin Moran. Second spot goes to Mike Marler, Ricky Thornton Jr. third, Hudson O'Neill fourth, Jonathan Davenport fifth, and Max Blair nips Ken Shelton Brand at the line for the sixth spot in the last corner. Then it's Chuck Frank finishing eighth, Carson Ferguson ninth, and Spencer Hughes rounds out the top ten. Yeah, good run there for Max Blair. He will be the Todd Steel Building's hard charger from 14th to 6. He got that spot, as you mentioned, on the final lap. So he has got to make his way into the UNOH scale area. But the winner of tonight's second feature, the 29-year-old out of Dresden, Ohio, in that Cornet got a Cornet power plane under the hood this yes, weekend. He does. James, that Longhorn chassis, the Double Down Motorsports, Lazy Days RV, Big River Steel, CNW Trucking, Red Oak Pub, CarSourceAuto.com, Chuck Kimball Wrench number 99. How about it for Devin Moran? With Evan Moran making his way into that UNOH tech and scale area right now. Made the firecracker 104 times, fifth in this race last year. His dad, Donnie, made the race twice, by the way. And Devin, Devin Moran, Ben, uh, with that win, and he gave himself a little better starting spot than what he would have had after uh, what happened to him last night. Yeah, definitely. He had a, it, it seemed like the very least. There was still a lot of laps left, but he had a very least a podium car last night. Tonight, he's going to go atop the Big River Steel podium with the Big River Steel number 99. And he is going to clear the UNOH tech area. And it's official Devin Moran, the winner of feature number two, his 11th career Lucas Oil Light Motor Dirt Series win, his third of the year, currently third in the series standings. And his eighth overall win on the season in the Roger Sellers, Big River Still, Smoky Mountain Speedway, Lazy Day RVs, Cornette, Powered Longhorn. 
as he heads in to Lucas Oil Victory Lane here tonight. A VLAN feature winner is Devin Moran out of Dresden, Ohio. We'll wait on him to come out of the race car. We'll talk to him as well as the balance. Your Big River still podium top three. Mike Marler on it again for the second straight night, as is Ricky Thornton Jr. And that's two drivers that have pretty much guaranteed themselves a front row starting spot for one of those six heat races tomorrow. Tomorrow night on track action once again at 7 o'clock p.m. And a 50,000 to win for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. 20,000 for the Rush Late Models as he's out of the car. How about it for Devin Moran, your feature winner? $5,000 to the good as he stands on top of the car here at Wernerville Speedway. Confetti flies. And Devin Moran will step down off that race car now an 11-time Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series feature winner. Well, Devin, you had a great car last night. Bad luck bit you down here tonight, though. Once you got out front, it seemed like nothing was going to slow you down. How concerned were you about the track rework, though? Uh, I mean, I knew it was really hard. I was kind of giggling about it. Everyone else was freaking out back there, and we didn't really do anything, didn't change tires. I think everybody else did, so it worked out in our favor. Just uh, the guys did a good job. Last night, I know a bit of a heartbreaker, but you know you had a good car. Tonight, you get the win. That'll help your heat starting spot. As you look ahead to tomorrow, what, what are your thoughts as you go after your first firecracker title? Yeah, it's awesome to finally get a win here. You know this is such a historic track, and uh, they always do a great job on the racetrack, and uh, I love coming here, you know. So uh, glad to get my first first win at Lernerville, and, uh, yeah, it would be awesome to get the win tomorrow night, especially in front of all the Big, uh, Big River Steel people I know. Denise stayed at home, didn't come hang out, but I know Scott and all of them are here, so uh, can't wait to hang out with all them guys tomorrow. And uh, obviously, I want to thank Roger Sellers with Double Down Motorsports, Robbie, Connie, Connor, uh, Casey, everybody at home. Um, Lazy Days RV, Big River Steel, CNW Trucking, you know, uh, Doug does so much for us, and, and I can't can't thank him enough. You know, he he uh, he's been on board with me for a long time. But so I want to thank him. I want to thank uh, Red Oak Pub, CarSourceAuto.com, McHugh Chrysler Dodge Jeep, uh, Southeastern Bow Mag Equipment. I have a, a ton of great people. Uh, my GE Auto Sales. I'm two for two in this. So my first one in Eldora, first one here. So I want to thank them. Uh, Greg Haskell, Lincoln Smith Racing, uh, Pee Wee's Record Service. Just got so many great people. My my crew, like I said, my beautiful wife, Sound Shirts, my family back at home, and. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get it done tomorrow. Race fans, Devin Moran, he picks up feature number two. Second on the Big River Steel podium, Mikey Marler out of Winfield, Tennessee. And Mike, another night, another podium finish. And what are your thoughts? You said last night it was a good one to finish a race without tearing anything up. Now another podium. That guarantees you a front row starting spot tomorrow night. How important is that to you as you go after your first firecracker title? Uh, it's good, you know. We uh, get to start out front in that heat race, and if you can, if you can uh, win, or you know, uh, even if you don't win, it you're up pretty good in the feature. So, uh, so yeah, it's a big help, and uh, you know, happy to be up here on the podium again tonight. Had a really good car, you know, starting back through there a little ways. So, uh, pretty proud of that, and my guys, you know, for working really hard on this stuff. And I know that's a cliche; everybody says that, but it's a lot of work. I've had jobs and I've raced, and they're both hard, but racing's a lot of work. So anyway, but yeah, just. Uh, um, you know, proud of the effort and proud of the, the finish, too. Last night, you clawed through there tonight, restart with 10 to go, and it seemed like those restarts back-to-back -back nights played into your favor. Yeah, yeah, I, I you know, kind of know Devin's, uh, you know, tendencies, you know, on restarts, and I was able to, you know, get a good takeoff there behind him, and and uh, that really helped me out, you know, get by Ricky there, and then uh, uh, Devin was a touch harder on tire. We're starting mid-pack or eighth or whatever, not really mid-pack, but starting back through there, I went soft on my right rear. So helped me early, and I paid the price a little late there, but at least I got up through there. But uh, fun race, you know. Congratulations to Devin and Roger and their whole group, you know, a great bunch of guys and deserving of success. You know, they, they do a really good job. Eighth to second, Mike Marler here in feature two, and we'll slide back here, rounding out the Big River Steel podium, another one of the Big River Steel race cars. Your defending Firecracker 100 champion, Ricky Thornton Jr. And Ricky, man, it felt like uh, 25 laps of battles for you, and that last restart definitely didn't help you. Uh, what were your thoughts from the from what you saw from the driver's seat? I don't know. Left front's knocked off, so I guess that's kind of all we need to say on that. But uh, if we get some red paint, it is what it is. Uh, they direct us earlier this year, so. It is what it is. Uh, had a good car. Felt like I had, had the wrong tire there. It, uh, they watered it, and it looked like it was going to be a lot muddier than it was. So congrats to Devin. Uh, his stuff was pretty good. So hopefully uh, this at least put us on the front row of a heat race for tomorrow. So we'll just see how it goes. Two Big River Steel cars on the podium. There'll be over 500 Big River Steel people here tomorrow. How cool is it to represent that sponsor at this event? Yeah, it's super cool. Uh, I felt like we were going to run one, too, there until, until I 
last restart. So uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, all the big crew were still people coming out. Uh, Scott putting the whole deal together. Uh, I got to thank Hoker Trucking, Google were still U.S. Steel, Coleman Farms, uh, Jones Races Products, High Performance Lubricants, Bill Stein Shocks, Longhorn Chassis, my boys, uh, my wife, everyone that came out, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Guys. Ricky Thornton Jr., he rounds out the Big River Steel podium. James DJ, back up to you. Well, that's a wrap. That is a wrap on feature number two. James, let's go ahead and take a look at your super clean race recap and see how we got to the 99 of Devin Moran. Hey, you mentioned, as uh, Ben mentioned, his... Go ahead. <laughs> yes, thank you. The lights you. are flickering thank off you. and we on back the... <laughs> here behind us. Well, it started with Mike Norris leading the first five laps, and then he got yep. a little too high down in turns one and two in the next lap. That car just drove straight off the racetrack and backed into the fence. He was able to rejoin the field, and he rallied for a 16th place finish. And then just in front of your leaders, Kyle Lucon got into the wall coming off turn number four. Good battles all the way throughout the field, but when everything was said and done, it was Devin Moran and getting the win and getting a little bit of redemption from the night before. That Roger Sellers owned Lazier's RV number 99, and he is the one standing in Veland Victory Lane here tonight. And Ben, that is a wrap on a pretty interesting night of racing here at Lernerville Speedway with, well, maybe more, more plot twist than a daytime <laughs> soap opera. Yeah, and maybe uh, the firecracker is really going to be heating up tomorrow. I'm going to remember tonight as a night of first. We saw Drake Troutman get his first ever Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series win, and then we just saw Devin Moran. He got his first ever Lernerville win, and a lot of storylines tonight, and now we've got six big heat races tomorrow night. It ramps up to the 100-lap finale tomorrow night, 50000 on the line, over $147,000 in that main event. Guys, it's been fun two nights down, but the big money shows tomorrow, and I can't wait to see how it's all going to play out. Absolutely, Ben. Well, James, uh, again, uh, yeah. another another wild and wooly night here at Lernerville. Yeah, the Coleman Farms fastest lap of the race was Michael Norris on lap two. The MD3 most laps led Devin Moran. The Todd Steele Biddings hard charger Max Blair. The Death Ridge Optician's lucky 13th place finisher was Chubb Frank. And the Willwood Brakes lucky seventh place finisher was Kenny Shelton Brand. Yes, it was. And a... Uh, Full moon-esque kind of night yet again here at Lernerville Speedway. Crowd starting to file out again, uh, 5.30 p.m. tomorrow for the driver autograph session. We will go live with the MAV TV on Flow Racing broadcast at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow evening. Dirt Draft Hot Laps will be on the track at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Six heats for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Two B mains and, of course, the Firecracker 100 pair of B mains in the $20,000 to win Emic Memorial for the Rush Late Models. On behalf of Ben Shelton and James Essex, this is Dustin Jarrett. We'll see you right back here tomorrow night on Flow Racing.